What's up? It's Nathabus. <laughs> so yeah, I was really thinking about something. What if the real reason that you can't find somebody is not what you think? Because here's, here's my thing. Like, like, you got to really think about this, right? So me and Cuz, I watch like all of these different videos, you know, where people, they, they say what they say, you know, about how you find the other person. And what I found is that when you look at these videos, the whole gist is they they basically say the same thing. They basically say the same thing. Like, it's like the same type of personalities. And it makes me think that, I don't know, maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but I don't think there really are videos for people who are different. And what I mean is this. I... So, there isn't one type of personality in the whole world. And for everything that exists, there is the fucking opposite. Now, think about this, right? There are people who are eccentric. There are people who are black sheep. Now, if there's only one way to date people, how would eccentric and black sheep exist? Like, really think about that. And I feel like people don't think about that. That these generalized viewpoints, they, they, only, they only help the personalities that are the most prevalent. They don't really help the black sheep or the eccentric people. And I feel like that a part of the problem could be just that. That people feel like this is this is what I have to be to attract the person. This is what the person that I'm interested in likes and what they want. And so I have to be this. And what happens is that you start being that and you start attracting those people. But you don't like those people. In fact, you probably hate those people. And so subconsciously, you sabotage it. Because, one, that's not who you are. That's not who you want to be. And two, they're not what you want. And if you've ever tried to pretend to be somebody, I know this is especially true for black sheep and eccentric people. Now, I don't know. Uh, I mean, there's certain people in there who, in this world who, in my opinion, I could be wrong. They could just be good at showing it on the outside. But there's certain people in this world that I feel like they can do what, you know, they're told, hey, this is what everybody wants you to be. This is what everybody wants you to do. And they can do it pretty well and they can stick with it. But if you are a black sheep, that it makes you sick on the inside. You just, you can't do it. You hate it. You despise it. You, you would rather burn in hell than be a personality that's not you. So internally... You're going to fight that personality no matter how much you believe that that's supposed to be, you know, the personality that you have to have. And that's where the conflict comes in. That's where the self-sabotage comes in. But because of your whole belief that, you know, this is this is how they're supposed to be. Those are the only types of people that you see. And so you have selective vision and you don't notice the people who are different from that. And I feel like everybody's different because I haven't always had confidence. But I've attracted women even when I had low self-esteem and low confidence. There's women who have low self-esteem and low confidence. And I mean, it could be vice versa, like if you know, you're interested in men. Now, I'm not saying this in the sense of being a... Vulture and picking people off and looking for somebody with low confidence and low self-esteem so you can take advantage of them That is not the context that I mean this in but I mean this in the context of That when you're at that point where you lack confidence and you lack self-esteem You can still attract people who are in the same position as you now that may might be a end up being a bad relationship I don't know you might be able to figure out how to make it work. Like, I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life. I'm just here trying to give a different perspective on things. Now, I say that because 
what's the primary thing that people push that you have to be to get the relationship? That you have to be confident, that you have to have high self-esteem. Now, that is something that you want to have. You you do you want to have that regardless of whether you're trying to date or or not. That that's something that you want to have. So don't get me wrong. I'm just making the point that it's 100% possible, but it's just that you will attract other people who lack confidence and lack self-esteem. That's all it is, but it's 100% possible. So it's it's something that's outside of that that is causing you to not really get people. And it's, it's all just a mental thing. And I could say from personal experience, there's been women who I've been attracted to, but when I met them, they were in the middle of that transition where their friends are constantly like, maybe she was the type that didn't really like to go out. You know, she liked to stay in the house. She she might have been a nerd or a geek or whatever because, I mean, those are two different things. And her friends were like, no, come out to the club with us. Come out, drink with us. Now, me personally, I don't like women who go to the club. I don't like women who go to the bar. Like, I just have really bad experiences with them. I'm, I'm just not, I'm not into those women. But, of course, the, it's like, yeah. Good luck finding a woman who doesn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's that's how many do that. You see what I'm saying? And every time I would date a woman who didn't do that, her friends would always be like, Oh, come out with us, come out with us. And I really liked her personality, but she would listen to her friends, she would go out with her with them, and when she go out with them, her personality would completely change. And see, and women always act like going to the club and going to the bar, that's a completely separate thing that you know, it has nothing to do with your personality. But what I can say is that 100% of the women that I have dated who didn't go to the club and didn't go to the bar, when their friends convinced them to, once they started doing it, their personality outside of the club and outside of the bar completely changed. They were a completely different person and I no longer was attracted to them. And that can make things difficult if you get into a relationship, you get deep into the relationship, you get connected to them, you get this deep connection, you really like them, things are working out, but then they listen to their friends, they do some things, and they start to become this other person, and you lose attraction. And then that makes things difficult because then it's like for you, you're starting to feel miserable because you don't like the person who they are. You, you, if you wanted their friend, you would have dated their friend. You didn't want their friend. You didn't want somebody who's like their friend. You wanted who they were. But now that friends didn't change them into somebody else, and now you don't like them anymore, so now you're becoming miserable in a relationship. Now you don't want to be in this relationship anymore. But then once you break up with her, you hurt her, and then you don't want her to feel like, oh, all guys are so horrible, and like you play with her heart, and whatever, whatever like that, and it has nothing to do with that. It's just, I liked who you were when I met you, but you turned into somebody else because you listen to your friends. Like, why are you listening to your friends telling you, you know, this is what you need to be to have a man when you you already got me. I'm already here. We're already dating. You, you, you Clearly, what you already were was what was working. Why do you think you need to be something else? Like, why? But But that has been my personal difficulty with women. I always find what I'm what I'm interested in. Her friends always tell her she needs to be something else. And then she goes to be that. And then we're no longer interested. And in some cases, we're not even dating. We're just friends. And that messes up our friendship. Okay, so for me personally, I can't speak for everybody else. But the women that I tend to be attracted to tend to be the women who are nothing like what women tell other women they need to be to get a man or what even men tell women they need to be like to get a man like I tend to like the women who don't fit that description so it's like I just feel like people need to concentrate more on being them because that will attract the person that you're into 
Because if you're you're being this certain personality type that you think you have to be to attract somebody, then the person who's actually different, who's actually the personality that you want, they're going to see you portraying this particular personality and then they're going to be turned off by you. And they're, they're not going to be interested in you. And they'll either put you in a friend zone or they'll avoid you and not deal with you at all so you won't even know that they exist. And I'm saying this because I personally do this with women where if they have a certain personality type that I just don't like, I will avoid them to the point that they probably don't know that I exist. Or I will put them in the friend zone. Like there's a lot of women that I have in that friend zone that originally weren't there, but I just happened to meet them as they were making that transition. And it was like, you know, I've dealt with it so many times that I already, I already notice it now when they're transitioning into that, all right, she's, she's about to become like every other woman. And I don't want every other woman. If I wanted every other woman, I'd already be dating somebody by now. You, you, see, you see what I'm saying? I don't want every other woman. That's why I'm not dating them. Because, and, and, and that's another thing that I want to say. There's so many every other women out there. There's so many every other men. If that's really what everybody wanted, don't you think everybody would already be with them? Because there's... There's a huge supply of them. You know what I'm saying? And so then, because you get this mentality that, oh, nobody wants me, or everybody's put me in the friend zone, or whatever like that, then you subconsciously build a certain level of hatred, which also causes you to sabotage yourself. It, it really does. So, I mean, I feel like, well, first off, people... You gotta get used to just just being alone, being cool, just loving yourself, doing you. Like, stop worrying about what you have to be to, to date somebody. Be you. Like, chill, enjoy your life. Stop. I feel like you. I feel like you gotta stop worrying about dating all together because, and not in the sense of I don't need anybody or I don't want anybody or anything like that. But I feel like. That if you're at that point where you are upset about being in a friend zone. Or you're upset that nobody's dating you and you're just so concerned and it's, it's just taking over your life like that. Then I feel like you need to back off of dating. Because you got addicted to it. Like it's a drug. You, you become addicted and you need to. You need to free yourself of it. Because. If you don't free yourself, then you're going to constantly find yourself in that position where it's like you feel like you have to be something else. Like at the end of the day, I feel like people should want to be them, you know, and you should want to be yourself to that degree that if you were going to be by yourself for the rest of your life, you should be good with that. I feel like when you get to that point, that's when that's when you really start attracting people. Because I can say with personal experience, I've attracted way more people when I was just like not even worried about really dating. It's just like, yo, I'm, I'm just doing me. Then when I was out there and I was like, oh, I really need to be with somebody because then you come off as thirsty. And when you thirsty, people don't want you. So you just have to just chill. Relax. Do you. Live your life. Be happy. Because you want somebody that wants you to be happy, right? You want somebody who you can do things with that you enjoy doing. But you can only find that person if they see you in that state. Because people are going to like you for the state that they see you in. So if you're miserable when you get with somebody, then that person likes you in a miserable state. Which means you're going to have to stay miserable to stay with that person.